It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Mamluks campaign as I attempt to be an administrative genius. I realize we're at 58% and we get regain manpower and disbanding when we get to 60%, which is pretty sweet. I'm looking for a place I can put these guys to exercise. I'm trying to think where we're going to expand next. I think we should push into the Ethiopians. We have got a lot of claims on them, haven't we? They've got some decent land too. That's 15 development. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> okay, I think what we'll do is core as much land as we can first. I'm trying to think if we should try and appease Demimi. Demimi? Demimi? If we do, we get... There's two things why we don't want to do this. One, it has a problem later in the game, doesn't it? Because we have to deal with taking land off them. Maybe, kind of. But this only apply. Hang on. Does this only apply to heretics, not heathens? So we could technically take... This is some Coptic land, isn't it? So we could give it to them here. And then the, what are the bonuses that we get for it? This is something I don't really do very often. So impose religious type gives us free money. We gain a tech reduction cost, which is really sweet. So in all fairness, what we're doing is we're getting a tech reduction and tolerance of heathens. Tolerance of heathens is quite frankly useless. Uh, but in the same process, we're upsetting our aristocrats, which damages our manpower recovery. Oh, we get a three skill trader. Ooh, boy, boy, boy. Need 40 influence for that. That's pr a lot of influence, isn't it? Lighten the Domini's tax burden. Gains 50% autonomy. Promote nobles. Gives an extra leader upkeep. That's pretty useless. Why? Oh, but they gain 20 loyalty. Okay. And it pisses off everyone else. Uh. And this one gains us manpower. Is there any in here that I really want, though? I guess imposing religious tax is pretty sweet, though, isn't it? I'll think about that one. Controversial protectionist. Sure, why not? But you know what? I don't really think much of legitimacy, you know? That's the stat that I just don't care that much about. Yeah, it is a stat that I actually don't give a crap about. Hmm. This would be humiliate rival Cassus Belly. That'd be nice to have, but it's too late now, isn't it? Discover America. Is that new? Or was that called something different and they've just na renamed it? Okay, how long we got? 10 months. So, do you think I should go for the Golden Age? I'm really tempted. Let's do it. Okay, move towards legalism. Yes, we're maxed on legalism now, aren't we? Oh, no, we're not. Actually, we've got quite a while to, a while to go, too. Convert Shia province. Ugh. Cause make a can't demand support. Astra contribution. Can't give monopoly charters. Oh wow, I've got a lot of diplo points. He's a pretty balanced guy, and that makes me think I need to be balanced as well. So now we're pretty balanced across all our techs and points. Or well, we should be anyway. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. So in that case, we could boost our economy, couldn't we? Uh, can I improve because the greater than the tax manpower combined? Oh, uh, yeah. 
we're producing a lot from here, aren't we? Because it's... Whereabouts is it? A revolt. Yeah, sure, revolt. I don't care. This state. The Age of Reformation. Army Reformer has died. Uh, extra manpower. None of them are Egyptian. I have a funny feeling as the game's going to go on, we're going to see less and less Egyptians to take advantage of the minus 25% culture discount. I have a feeling that's what's going to happen as time's going to go on. Uh, da, 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 da. Minus 15% loyalty. So for the next five months, I'm going to suffer from a 2.5%. Okay. All right. Um, so I was looking at how much I was producing here, didn't I? So the production cost for this day is 16. I'm producing a lot of silk here. Where is... Oh, it's 2.82. Uh, production efficiency from technology. Head of technology on administrative. And workshop plus 50%. I guess we should just spread out our text a little bit, shouldn't we? Local production efficiency. One, two, three. We're like concentrating quite a lot of our production here, aren't we? And imagine if we look on the construction now, some areas are going to have really big production buffs. Yeah, they have. God, we've got a lot of money though. Alright, so this is really cool. So not only... Oh, wow, I keep saying not only quite a lot. Not only... Are we... Oh, I realise I could make my army bigger as well. Uh, ba, ba, da, ba, da, ba. Get one more of well, you guys. Can get another eight of these guys too. I need to keep as close to the force limit as possible. So I can take advantage of the max amount of professionalism when exercising my armies. And I realize that I need an extra leader as well. Because otherwise... Oh, oh, there we go. We get an extra point of professionalism because uh, we gain an extra general. There's going to be some kind of exploitative tactic in this game of hiring lots of generals to gain as much... To gain as much... Uh, bah, bah, bah. Why can't I go for this one? Oh, it's, oh I can't because it's not core. Right. To try and gain as much professionalism as humanly possible. So we're going to try and hire more of you guys. Put you here. Put you on drilling. And if I look on here now, I should be getting 1% per day. 0 0.8%, 0 0.9%, 1%. There we go. It will go for reinforce rate. That 33% now, think about it, is actually quite high, isn't it? Allied with the Musava? Oh, this guy. Who are you allied with anyone? No, no allies. Oh, no, I'm allied with, with Hummus. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, that's something we're going to do. We're going to go for that. Then we're going to embrace the new school. Cost 50 admin, which will pay for itself back. And there we go. Awesome. We've got a golden Hordean friend. Alliance with Poland. Great Horde, Royal Marriage and Alliance. And Medina leading vassal. So we can take on one more point. Diplo point. Uh, go for that. Go for that. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. I'm trying to think how I'm going to do this. I think I'm probably better off attacking Najad. What are they? What's their school? 
Progressive expansion impact. Do you know what? For the start of the game, that actually is really good because that really makes the senior icon attack quite aggressively. But on the other hand, pushing into these areas is only going to upset Horn of Africa. Pushing to Arabia is only going to piss off Arabia. So I'm pretty free to expand into these areas unopposed. So Tunisia may be locked in here. They can't move towards me. And Morocco is going to be a tough opponent. The Ottomans either have to fight me, Kuala Lumpur, or push towards Europe, which is going to be a nightmare for them. So right now, they're locked in. So right now, I am in like a really awesome position. I can push south, I can push east, and relatively unopposed. He is well connected. Oh my god, he is so good. That is amazing. That's one of the best. In my opinion, I mean, you might disagree, but that's one of the best traits that your monarch can get. That is all How old is he? He's 50. Ugh. Apparently, 50 is the cutoff when they can die. If they're younger than 50, apparently they're immortal. They can't die. Well, unless they die in battle, for instance. But if they're 50, that's when they can start dying of natural causes. How's the professionalism going? 1%? Yes. 1% per year. I'm not going to try and pronounce it because I know I will get it wrong. Move towards legalism, mysticism. Lose some money, stability cost, extra prestige, and we have tons of money anyway. Infiltration of the Tunis, awesome, and then we can... Are they still allied? Yeah, can we break off their alliance? No diplomats to send. Huh. They won't do it, okay. It's gonna make sense, really. I don't know why they would. Uh, support rebels, fabricate a claim. That's pretty much all we're gonna do continue our spy network on the Ottomans. Hang on, is this a... No, I need to stop that because I'm going to make... Hang on, is this a core that we've already got? D-H A M R. More legalism. It feels like they always want to push you towards legalism because I'm getting a lot of events to just give you a free push towards legalism. Interesting. No more Shia, thank you. The invitation to the Eid al Fit. Relations between us and a very tiny increase in relations because we absolutely detest each other. That increases by. Current change is 0.9% per month or year? Month, okay. We have separatists. We're going to have to deal with those separatists regardless, so I think we just let them rise up. Exceptional year, 50% tax boost. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're going to have to go to a big war against Ethiopia again. Civil war. Okay, everything else is fine. You guys are going to rise up very soon, so we'll drop the drill. Trade guilds and fraternities. More legalism. It feels like every time I go towards legalism, I'm getting bonuses, but everything that's towards mis mysticism hurts me. So, it feels like a no-brainer to me, but there you go. Lost a claim on Shedi. Fair enough. Yeah, I think we need to go to war with Ethiopia. How are they allied with? No one. No alliances. Revolt. Can we kill them and snuff them out immediately? Our best general, kind of. That was not the best battle. This arm is the one that's the most drilled. That's good. That's good. Don't need more sailors, that's for sure. That's good.
All right. So we seem to be pumping out. I think we. I think we've now pushed towards a stage where we've moved really far forward. On our diplomatic points. I like the fact that we've got lots of excess income. That really, really, really do like that a lot. Because that means we just get to spend, spend, spend. And I like the fact we're building lots and lots of, the, of uh, manufacturers too. We're building farm estates literally everywhere. The birth of colonialism. I think we take advantage of that pretty much straight away, don't we? Where is colonialism? It's in Portugal. Got him. All right, let's have a look at the income screen. So tax-wise, we've fallen to fourth place, but we were very close to the Ottomans in France. Production is, I think, second in the world. Oh yeah, and trade, we're fourth. Ah oh, damn, we're doing so well. Gold, we're not even on the list. Tariffs, not on the list. Vassals. Oh, we're actually not too bad on vassals. Timurids are the best, though. It's hard to get money from vassals. You usually have to stack a lot of um, modifiers to boost it as much as possible. All right, can we... We'll get a free war out of you first. I think we should just declare war and gobble up lots of land. It's probably going to be a smart thing to do. Uh, 16, 21, 23. In fact, no, just stay here for the time being. Just stay here. So we're going to up this one. And this one too, because that locks them in place. Unless they go all the way around, around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. Are we at our force limit? No, we're not. Now we are. Religious Sultan. Gain legitimacy. The area will get one arrest increase, 25 tax increase for 30 years. Two options will happen. Chance that will no longer be righteous and now be greedy. Oh no! 90% chance of 10% prestige. Did it happen? No. <laughs> I have never seen that event before. That wasn't an event that's just been added either. Well, I don't think it was anyway. Oh my god, man. The prestige. So prestigious. I might buy some more cannons because I've got the money for it. Am I earning 40 ducats a month? Gain 25 admin, boost lots of relations. I don't think that's worth it. It's a lot of money there. Just have a little bit of legalism. Uh, request to share your map with Yorkland and gain 10 prestige. <laughs> sure, whatever, dude. Almost done. Five discipline is nice. More war exhaustion. Have more development now. Some more iron. Any more improvements to development? I'm getting a bit of a thrill out of this, guys. Stacking all these points feels really good, man. Allied with whom? Humus? Sure. I don't think we'll need to pull in our extra armies for this. I don't think. Yeah, pull that guy off. We'll go back for the Ottomans again. We need to always be spy network in the Ottomans because even though I might get really relaxed, I think it's best to keep a close eye on them all times. I don't think they've got a fort, have they? No, I don't think they have. Anyway, we're going to declare war on them anyway. Declare war. We can't actually go here. Allied with hummus. Oh, great. Oh. Why aren't you drilling? Ah, oh, I just got it in time. Um, 
I'm getting quite a lot of comments about people telling me to take out the Ottomans really quickly. I don't need to take out the Ottomans because they're currently boxed in right now. Because uh, I have control of their south. They can't push east because of the strong ally here. They can't push north because Hungary is... Well, actually, if they take on Hungary, that's probably their best bet. But pushing into uh, Poland's difficult because I'm allied with them as well. So we have well and truly cock blocked them. Twenty-seven. Go here. Exercise. Rebels just appear at a very wonky time, but whatever, dude. Yeah, forget it. We'll kill those rebels now. We should have really gone for the army general at this point. So that would be the best guy. Go for this guy, then go for Hummus. And then this guy... Go here, exercise, boom. He's retreating, that's fine. So this guy's pretty good, 2-2 two, two versus a 4-3. So they've got a general advantage, which I don't think is going to be a big deal. Pilgrims are safe. Nice. Me, me pilgrims. Towards legalism, ha heathens, haters, truth, faith, plus... It upsets our heretics, whatever. Alright, so we're engaging them here and we're absolutely trashing them. And what's their tech? They're at 8 and we're at 9, so we have an advantage there. We could actually be at 10 at this point as well because of our current position. All right, grab you guys, move here. Grab a stack of you guys and go here. We need to wait for this one to siege first. What? We can siege with just with artillery? They're angry. Go for the siege guy, go here. I keep having to switch these guys around, which is kind of getting a bit tedious. It doesn't matter. They can then spend five minutes not drilling and they'll be totally fine, okay? They're at war with the southern Muslims. Are you going to fight us here? Do you know what? I might just engage you. It's a lot of horse though, isn't it? Alright, let's go five speed. That siege was nice. Split them off. Go here and here. You gonna engage me? Nope. We're just gonna dodge me. See if we've annexed the full country. Alright, so now we have an opportunity. Oh no, we don't. Oh no, we do! Okay, I thought this was desert, but it's not. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I need to know whether f lose money. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, the question now. Ooh, 3.7%. That is a bit of a problem. Okay, 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 okay. okay. We have to engage their armies because otherwise they're going to keep going around about, round about us. Uh, we have to engage them here. Probably going to kill them before they arrive. And absolutely obliterate those guys as well. They've got a good general, but they're too far behind on tech. Our morale is huge too. Morale's awesome. That's actually something I want to check out. Army tradition. And I don't think they have any drilling. Professionalism, is that there? No, professionalism doesn't get morale. But we have got 10% bonus for morale as well. Improve relations with this guy, gain less development. Or trade bonus. In Gonda. I don't really want to boost relations with you, it makes a difference. I think we'll go for the trade bonus. So we're not going to be able to wipe this guy comfortably. So the only fort is here. So we just go... For, I think we just go for the capital. And then our vassal will clean up the rest. You embrace... Oh, we can go for the culture thing. Ooh, we need to go for this one immediately. Let's get free manpower. And the other one, it doesn't matter when we take it. We just get free money. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, the other one, we'll wait until we can get the most out of it. And we're going we're gonna to tech up in a second anyway. So, 
Really, dude? Seriously? You gonna run away from me? Really, dude? Really? The poor of the Halab. Uh, development cost plus 50% in Halab. How long for? 20 years. Whatever. We can improve the development afterwards. Got him. Oh, so they've finally gone to war with the Ottomans. So in that case, maybe I want to siphon some income into them. Oh, I can't because they're our rivals. Oh, no, I can. I can give them subsidies. How much money? I can give them a lot of money. I can give them so much money. <laughs> this is going to be really annoying because the Ottomans aren't going to take as much land. They're going to have to deal with, like, just waves upon waves of mercenaries. Yeah, they have to deal with, like, a lot of mercs. Alright, they're back again on sieging land. This guy is only a two. Need you go here. This is... I think this is mountains, isn't it? No, it's coastal desert. Okay. He wants to peace out, but I'm not going to let him. Ooh, he's dealing with some rebels. That's fine. Okay, so we need to tech up really massively here. Which is good news, because that means we can take advantage of all the buffs that we're getting. Man reduce manpower, lose professionalism. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> I'm going to lose the manpower. I don't want to lose professionalism. I know what's going to happen here. The more professionalism I gain... Yeah, the more professionalism that I gain... The the more events I'm gonna get, they're trying to keep keep try and keep my professionalism low, but like events to kind of like retract and push me back from getting more professionalism. Can I box them in here? Lose tax? No, we're not losing tax base. Forget that. I no way. Are you seriously gonna take a minus two penalty to come over here? Can we do it, boys? Can we defeat an army half our size? We'll reinforce. I think we can actually do this. Oh, they don't even need us. <laughs> Damn. Savage. Alright, so we're going to move these guys here. We're going to break them off. So, one is L, isn't it? L? No, it's V. And that's it, and that'll siege all of the southern of Omen, is it? Is this Omen? Yep. The south of Omen. And they're stuck on the island of Hummus. Am I gonna get... Am I gonna get shit in the comments, guys, cause for me not saying places right? Why am I asking that stupid question? Of course I'm gonna get shit for it. <laughs> it's inevitable. All right, development. So most of the development's concentrated here. I'm not, I'm gonna have to push further east though, regardless though, aren't I? Extra autonomy, yeah, I'll the autonomy. I don't want to lose admin points. I need my sweet admins. I think this war went quite well. Yeah, I think it went quite well. We can annex these guys fully, and we can probably push into these territories with relative ease too. We could tech up as well in a moment as well. Oh, is there a retreat in here? Can I move to this island now? I might be wrong about this, but at some point, wasn't this island consisting of this nation? It is, because this is the capital. Oh, I don't have the capital. That is actually a pain, because that affects my war score, that doesn't it? But we've pretty much annexed the whole nation. Well, occupied the full nation. He won't accept, because he doesn't think we've got that much. Balls. Um... 
We can't win that because these are traders and he's got one galley. It's it's gonna be an iffy fight though. Can we move here and just see what happens? It says they've not got galleys though. Go win for your cut. Oh, we won. Okay. Well, you know what? I didn't expect that. Did not expect that. I wasn't expecting that. All right, cannon, move over with our best siege guy. Done it, boys. We did it. Uh, local construction in Aleppo or gain a Syrian philosopher with a 50% discount. Yeah, I think I'll take the philosopher actually. Which is the philosopher? He's a plus three, isn't he? Is this a philosopher? This guy. Is this the guy? 38. That doesn't seem right. Is he Syrian? Is this the guy? It's only 147. Oh, I'm looking oh, I'm looking at the wrong number. Uh, advised dedicate to the study of the fundamental nature of knowledge and reality and existence. Well, so deep, boo. So this guy's 34. I want to promote him. And I want to promote him again. This guy's 34, guys. He's really young and he's a god. He's a god. <laughs> he's got a 50% discount. He's skill 5. This guy is a living god. Can I... Uh, I really want to end this war right now. I really desperately want to end it. Reformations of the church. Fair enough. Okay, do have to deal with some rebels as well. One of our generals has died. Which one was it? One of these guys. Ooh! Uh, let's hope he drills for some more... Uh, let's hope he drills for a little bit more shock. That would be great. Oh, I've occupied him. That's good. Um, Alright, can we... Is that all he's going to give me? Why won't he give me more? That's strange. Alright, now we can beat them up. Oh, what? Someone just... Who died? Oh, my army guy. Oh, morale. And he's some culture that I've never heard of. You're going here. Can I catch him? He's a plus two. Oh my god, this guy is a legend. He's got good maneuver. He's just running away from me. This is really upsetting me. Oh, I catch, I catch him. It's all good. And that's a wipe. Game over, son. Game over, man. And I want a call for peace, which kind of makes sense. Um, v, v, v. All right, occupy. There you go, done. Alright, can we... What's the land cost? So most of it's concentrated in this bit, but to be fair, there's not really a... Uh, there's not really an area that's really rich, is there? I might be better off just going for war operations, taking their money off them. And then annexing you. This is going to cause a coalition, but I actually... To be fair, I, I would like a coalition. Um... I never said that before, but I would really like a coalition in this instance because that means I get to bully a lot more extra people and I'm pretty strong as I am right now, so an opportunity to bully a lot of people is going to be good for me. So what we could do now, this is the, this is the smart bit. Oh, you're going to love this bit. This is the best bit. I go for this guy, promote Egyptian culture and government, 5% for all costs. I then tech up that and that, which I get a 5% discount. I also... 
We might go for the idea, but not quite yet. We want to do the coring first. Because the coring is going to be a 5% discount too. Is it? Is it? Yes. Promoted culture in government. Is that... Is that right? Yep. So we can either take that up, which costs us 600. Actually, what is that? What's the final cost? 351. I think I'm better off finishing the ideas. Am I? Yeah, I'll finish the ideas first. That gives me one free general. Just kind of nice, I suppose. Establish the... That. Idea cost minus 5%, but we gain cost extra stability. I'm not sure I like that. It's a trade-off, that, isn't it? Because stability is going to cost you more admin in the long run. But then you're paying less on your idea cost. I'm going to probably have to come back to that one and think about it. Hmm. Large bronze cannon. Call for peace. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Probably going to have to go to war with Ethiopia. Ooh, I think they've lost a war here and they've had to lose some of their lands. They're not allied with anyone, are they? Yeah, they are. Um, and then we're about to get some unrest in Dongola. We're probably going to need more infantry as well. Then we go for the... This guy. He's going to be our rebel suppression guy. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment below. Anything that might be on your mind. And apart from that, I hope you have a good day. See you guys everyone. Have a good one. Bye bye.